For many, the idea of putting migraines and epilepsy in the same category seems strange. However, there are a couple things that we need to consider before we throw that out as a bad idea. And, and keep in mind, I am relatively biased because I do have a book called Migraines and Epilepsy that obviously looks at both of them as, as being similar conditions. First of all, we are now moving towards using anti-seizure medications for migraines, such as Topamax or Depakote, and finding that those have a tendency to work for those conditions, even though personally I don't think they're necessarily the best idea. In addition, there's a very strong association between people who have migraine headaches and who also later develop seizures or develop seizures around the time of their headaches or have headaches after their seizures. There's a lot of crossover between those to the point where some in the research have, have coined the term migralepsy to demonstrate the relationship between the two. Further, and probably the most important, is that when you look at the research that points to the mechanisms, the reasons why these conditions occurred, they boil down to a problem with the mitochondria, which for those of you that read the rantings know that that is my absolute favorite organelle in the human cell. It's the way that our cells generate energy. And certain cells like the brain require an amazing amount of energy just to function normally. If they don't have enough energy, things start to break down and the end result could be a migraine or a seizure. So lifestyle change is designed to improve mitochondrial function and the way that this, your brain cells use and make energy will have a lot of bang for your buck for improving both migraines and seizures.